This tutorial shows you the use of the octagonal symbols from graphic extras in Illustrator CS5. Same approach can be used for CS4, CS3, etc. PC or Mac. Right, also the uh, same approach can be used basically for any other AI file you can find on the web or native symbols. Right, just going to go over to the... Sim I've actually opened the symbol library already. To open the symbol library, just go Symbols Palette and then just right click and use the Open Symbol Library here. So once you've done that, the symbol library appears. Just clicking on the various symbols here in the library will add them to the symbols document library. So, right, there's there. You can see the ones that come with the default document. These are the symbols added. So I'm just going to drag the symbol from the palette. The vector design, so they can be any size without any sort of degradation of, of image. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to say break link because I don't want it actually as a symbol now. I'm just going to break that link. Now I'm just going to go over to the fill. I'm just going to now give it a fill, different fill. So give it a stroke, setter. And I'm just going to add a width profile. Now width profile is a new feature that came in CS5. It's quite useful for creating dramatic uh, frame designs or stroke designs very quickly. So just got that. Just instantaneously creates a different design. There's a selection of ones come Illustrator. That. Just apply that so you can create some very interesting designs. I'm just going to increase the size of the width a bit like that. You can also modify them using the width tool over here. So you can actually just go to that and just quickly create your own things. So you can just expand that out a bit if you want to make a more interesting design. It's quite good for illustrations and comic art I've, I've found very useful. Nice little feature. Right, so you just created that. Now, I'm just going to, after doing all that, I'm just going to delete that one. And I'm just going to quickly drag over another one of the octagonal designs. Now, the symbols can actually have styles. And I've just opened styles already. And artistic effects. This comes with Illustrator. You can find other styles available on the web. And you're just going to click on that. You can apply various things. So I'm just going to... one. Now, some of the styles, for some weird reason, don't actually apply them direct. So you actually have to do a little bit of work. I've just applied this one here. RGB watercolour. Now, if you go to the appearance palette and just go to the fill here, this generally resolves the issue straight away. Just drag it up, stop, and the actual style is now applied before it just is actually behind the symbol. So anyway, so that's just a quick uh, using the appearance, right? And you just apply other the styles create dramatic uh, frame effects for you can obviously have a, something in the background uh, or you can uh, just use them as is right that's uh, quick another bit of use there I'm just going to drag another symbol over that's so a symbol there's another symbol and you can actually use the styles and the appearance palette. I'm just going to go to appearances. You've actually got symbols. You can actually use that to add a fill. I mean, that's one of the useful things. So I'm just going to add a fill or stroke. So actually, for frames, I'll just add a stroke. So you've just got a stroke there. It's got a particular color. I'm just going to make that red. Let's increase the size so you can actually see it. And again, you can uh, manipulate that further. You also add a fill and all those sort of things. You can also add multiple strokes. So just duplicate that item. Just that one. Maybe make that one bigger. Drag that, put that one behind. So you can create sort of interesting frame designs with the, just from there. Right. And you don't have to convert, you don't have to expand or break the link with the symbol. Right, I'm just going to create another one, another way of doing Creating some very interesting designs. Just obviously, is just to put a design obviously around design, or you could even expand the design. I'm just going to quickly do that. Expand, and then you can use the path offset path. 
click OK there and say so that's red so you can just see this design there so you can just create very interesting designs just from this just basic set of 100 octagonal designs and uh, as I say you can actually now once you've obviously got it into a symbol you can actually use like various free transform tool I'm just gonna so you can distort it so it doesn't have to remain of course once you've done that you can actually not using that tool you can't select that just go over there selection tool drag that over then you can save it as a new graphic symbol if you wish of course you can use that at any future time